Hey guys, Jerry Learns Business. Special guest, Santa Monica local business, um, Fuzia from Posh Cafe. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I am good, man. Always love featuring local businesses from where I live. So let's get started with your journey. How long has Posh Cafe been around? November, next November, it's going to be four years. So we opened in 2016, November 2016. I see. And how was that journey? Um, was it something that you've always wanted to do? Or did it kind of like one day you just, okay, I'm going to open up a cafe. Tell me about that. Okay, on this project, we are two of us. It's mm -hmm. me and my husband. So mm -hmm. in the beginning, it was really a project of my husband that he was dying to do his own mm -hmm. coffee shop, making sure to make his own coffee with like great quality coffee and food, etc. So and then in the beginning, I was like, okay, let's try. And then when we opened it, and then then after you get hooked to it because it's great to do. It's very, I mean, we have passion for it right now, both of us. We do this because we really like the customer and we really like to give them the best that we know. So I'm French Moroccan. So I'm trying to bring this French Moroccan touch twist to the food. So try to bring something different and new on the area. Before Posh Cafe, did you two have other businesses or is this the first business you two have started? Well, I'm a French teacher. Oh. So, <laughs> exactly. So I used to, and I'm still teaching French online, okay? Mm -hmm. And my husband used to be in a car business. Mm. But uh, he, oh, he didn't own his own business. That's what you want to know. No. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, we have a very close and tight relationship with the customer because mm -hmm. I think it's very important. And we really want to, like, create a, like, home atmosphere at the coffee shop. Like, very mm -hmm. comfortable, uh, whatever you want. And we don't have it. If we can make it, we will make it for you. Wow. So, we're trying to create this atmosphere. Exactly. Nice, homey atmosphere. Um, tell me about some of the sort of initial details when you decided to get started. For example, how did you decide on that location, for example? Um, and so, what were some of those logistics stuff? Okay, well, it's pretty simple. My husband used to work next door. Oh. To the <laughs> it's very simple. Mm -hmm. To the car business next to it. And he used to come get his sandwich over there. And then one day he stopped going there because he told me like, oh my God, the person that got the new business became bad. The, the customer service was really bad. And he said like, it used to be very good. I want to do something for this place. This is how it worked, how it started. And then when he heard that the person was leaving, he said, I'll go get it. Mm. I see. Wow. Um, were there any initial challenges when you first opened up? Well, the major challenge for us, it was to bring back customers because, uh. because this place started having bad reputation mm -hmm. and people were avoiding it because of the very bad customer service and all the like nice atmosphere disappeared from there. Mm -hmm. The quality of food, of course, same thing. So it was our challenge. Mm -hmm. So to bring back this confidence. So bring back like people coming back to this place and saying like, oh, no, it's not the same person, but it changed. And oh, the food is because they used to have very nice item on their menu. And we try to keep them and we try to improve them also. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. was the major challenge for us. I see. I see. And then. I mean, you guys stuck around, so it looks like you guys got the customers back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let's talk about, so, you know, um, you guys make all the coffees. There's a lot of, like, French Moroccan flavor and all that. What are some other cool things that your cafe offers that, let's say, some of the other cafes around Santa Monica might not be able to offer? Well, we, we carry a product very particular, I would say, is, is like um, – 
called the argan almond butter. Mm -hmm. That's an almond butter. Tell me, we have it here everywhere. But this one has a particular thing, is made with argan oil. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you ever heard about the argan oil. Um, you? probably in like a commercial or something, but I yeah. don't know any details about it. Okay. So argan oil is made from a nut coming from nut tree that exists only in Morocco. Oh, that's the particularity. So only in Morocco, you're going to find this, uh, argan tree. And the other particularity is that the goat climbs into this tree so it's very cool and nice to see this goat on top of the trees. And they participate to create these nuts. So these nuts is great. We have two ways to use it. You have like the cosmetic part. So it's used by women and it's very well known here in the shampoo as oil. And everybody knows it like under this use. Mm -hmm. But people hardly knows that we can use it, eat it as um, uh, culinary oil. So, and it is a um, Moroccan traditional recipe that is made in Morocco for a thousand years. And it's this almond butter with argan oil. And it has a lot of um, benefits, a lot of good fat that is good for us. And in terms of taste, it makes it really tasty and different from the other almond butter wow. so that's a must to try we make a toast with it with different type of fruits on top and people when they try it they get hooked to it okay so now i know next time i come exactly. to posh cafe i'm gonna get some almond yeah um, what is the day-to-day -day life in, let's say, you or your husband i think that's one of the things that's most interesting for people who want to know about business owners do you guys wake up really early or like, tell, tell me more about that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yes, we do. We do. We have to wake up very early. We have to go to open. We're the first to open the coffee shop mm -hmm. and then we have to do the grocery shopping. So it's me opening my husband going to do the grocery shopping or vice versa. It depends uh -huh. on like, so on the quantity of what we need. So we really need to wake up very early to have fresh ingredients. That's mm. very important for us. And then we there or the whole day or part. My husband is there the whole day. Mm. I am not there the whole day because then I'm in charge of all the social media. Um, I'm the, in charge of like reorganizing the menu, trying to find something new. So mm -hmm. always trying to bring something different to surprise the customer yeah. Yeah. and get out from this routine. Myself, mm -hmm. when I go to another, to, I, I go to a restaurant, even if I like the food, sometimes I want that the person, the chef surprises us. Mm. So, and I try to bring the same things. I see. I see. That makes sense. So like your husband is the one that's like, there on like there he's like the face of it a lot and you're I'm more behind the scenes kind of yeah i'm i'm definitely there for lunch time i'm definitely there in the morning also mm -hmm. i'm there to help for the lunch time uh it's a little different right now unfortunately with what mm -hmm. happened so we of course have there is less footstep over there so mm -hmm. but He's there all the time and I'm really trying to be on the back, trying to create new recipe and other things. Yeah. Makes sense. Do you guys have like collaborations or a feature other products um, in your, in your um, cafe, like other local products or anything like that? Well, the argan almond butter is not our product. Mm -hmm. It's we, feed, we take it. It's the product from a company called Organia. Um, product it's mm. called Argania product and we work a lot with them and uh, they also make two different type of oil one is avocado argan oil and one is pure argan oil wow. and we work so we try to make like this place also with few uh, Moroccan authentic product mm -hmm. wow. so we work with them
Well, for viewers who don't know where Morocco is, Morocco is North Africa. It's on the um, west side of North Africa. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's do you normal. go back to Morocco a lot, or do you guys? So you guys yeah, do travel. Yeah, I go more. back every yeah. year. Wow. Wow. Every that's, year, I guess I that's a bucket to... list item. I need to. I need to go to Morocco too. Well, anytime that you need any advice before you go there, I'm here to help. That's I'm right. here to yeah. And I go to France and I go to Morocco every year. I mean, wow. it's. Wow. So um, what is planned in the future for you guys? Um, do you guys, will you guys open up another location? Will you guys just stay put for now? Tell me more about Well, that. for the moment, we're trying really to concentrate on this one. Mm -hmm. Because it's, uh, it's our baby, definitely, mm -hmm. my husband and I. And we really want to bring, like, built up, create more things really to establish, like, a strong... Um, reputation we really mm -hmm. want to do that and then we might think after two we don't want to do a lot of them if we do we probably think like to have another one but that's it because yeah. we really want to focus on the um originality you know and the freshness and to do something like this and to create this homey atmosphere we have to stay focused on one or two branches yeah. Yeah. otherwise you lose this uh, spirit yeah makes sense it's like if you expand too quickly or you try too hard to get big at the quality the spirit everything dwindles yeah. especially because then um you know you would have to be at different locations and then so it's like one place doesn't have that touch of fusia and your husband you know exactly yeah. exactly when we really want to uh, keep this touch yeah that's exactly. that for us it's very important yeah. And we love working with our customer. We really love like this contact with customer is something very was new for me, but I found that it was very interesting. Yeah. Tell me about, um, like, for example, when you hire a barista, when you hire, let's say employees, what are you looking for? Well, we're looking for someone that has the same spirit as us. Mm -hmm. It's really very important. So mm -hmm. people, when they come, they have to feel that it is really homey place and not like just somebody that is taking an order and not involved on what he's doing. It's yeah. very important for us. Yeah, exactly. That's the major part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like to I like to ask that kind of question just because I think one of my goals is I want more people young people to watch my channel you know young people they, they're lost they want to find job advice and stuff like that so i always like to ask companies you know what they look for when they hire it's really we want to keep this family atmosphere yeah, we family. really yeah for us i mean we have to like get along we have to be very close to each other whatever mm -hmm. they might have i really want us that they share it with us if we can do something we mm -hmm. will be the first to help and so to if we want to like that our customers see something very homey and family it has also to be on the back yeah exactly tell me about social media when did you jump on the social media thing or was it always part of posh cafe no actually no i start after a year mm -hmm. i didn't know anything about instagram i had no idea how it was working mm -hmm. And I've been asking around me, how does it work? Because it seems that everybody uh, is doing it. Mm -hmm. I do it because we still like have a small budget. So we cannot hire a professional for the moment. Mm -hmm. But then after I said, okay, so I start looking other account, trying to do the same thing. And step by step, I was reading a lot, of course, about how it works, about how about the algorithm, how it works. And taking advice here and there from youngest, because this is a very young um, social media space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's basically what we do. We, uh, and then the Facebook is, account is related with our Instagram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, just looking at your Instagram page, it's very well done. It's super pretty, like you really focus on making the pictures really good. Like yeah. that's really good what you're doing. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. I think it's very important for me. Visual is very important. 
I come from, uh, I have a communication background. Mm -hmm. And so we, we were working on visual when we knew that visual was very important. For me, I, I, I have the same sensation. Whenever, I mean, pictures sometimes uh, talk better than words. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah. So do you take all the photos yourself? Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Like Thank you. good lighting and everything. I always like when I see photos that have really good lighting. So for, for viewers, I'll, I'll put the Instagram in the description and stuff like there's Thank one where the coffee's like dripping down or, or maybe it's the butter. Oh, it's, it's looks so pretty. I, I take, and we, I take them with my iPhone. Mm. Isn't that beautiful how technology has made so many things possible? Like, I take all my pictures with my iPhone, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, right now, it's, like, amazing. Yeah. This one, like, took amazing pictures. Like, wow. Yeah. And I try not uh, to... I, I probably modify it a, a little the lighting because we don't have a great lighting at the coffee shop. Mm -hmm. But that's it. Wow. I don't use filters, no, none of these. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Guys, um, this was a good little conversation. I think next time I'll sit down with you and your husband, you know, since it's kind of a little bit more open now. I think this time let's do that. Let's all just sit down. You know, of course I'll I'll wear a mask or something. So No, yeah. with pleasure. We would love we would love to have you again at the coffee shop. Yeah. It was great, great. I mean I mean, the first uh, impression was great. When mm -hmm. you came, you were very open, and I like this. Um, sometimes my husband tells me, you talk too much. <laughs> no, I love it. <laughs> I love to talk with my customer. Yeah. yeah. So, so anytime, yeah. with pleasure, with pleasure. Yeah. Let's do that. So, uh, for viewers, I think another thing we could do is maybe like one day I could I could bring a camera and I can like film some of when they make coffee or something like that. Would be kind of cool. Perfect. Yeah. Sounds perfect yeah. to us. So, yep. guys, um, if you're in the Santa Monica area or in the LA area, um, it's pretty easy to find them. They're, you know, um, they're on Wilshire, um, 16th and Wilshire, 1620 Wilshire. So, um, um, is that considered like mid city Santa Monica? That's a good question. That's a good question. Then I could be mid city you're yeah, right because be downtown is a little okay down and then could be considered yeah, that's mid city, city. Of santa monica. yeah i guess that's a yeah, i never know what to call the different parts of santa monica because no, first no, we just think be, of it yeah. as one but i guess if i had to give it a classification it's like mid city santa monica correct yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. that's a good way to look at it yeah exactly so um guys um fusia from posh cafe and the key is we'll we'll be back in person um so we'll we'll get to sit down with them so next time you'll see not just two screens but you know sitting next to each other awesome well fusia thank you so much no thank you thank you wish you a great great weekend very looking forward to seeing you very soon yep awesome and let's share more things together totally this was jerry learns business